And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Jace. Uh, this is going to be a combo deck here on Meme Tier Day built around Jace and Winter's Breath. So Winter's Breath says you kill all enemies with zero power and then you frostbite all the enemies. Now how this works is if you have a leveled up Jace, whenever you play your first six plus cost spell in a round, you get to cast it again. So you cast it twice. So therefore, your first Winter's Breath will frostbite all enemies, and the second Winter's Breath will kill them all, because then they'll all have zero power. So it's a pretty awesome combo if you get a leveled up Jace with the Winter's Breath, and that's what we're going to try to do. Um, so that's why our deck's kind of built around. Uh, we're going to be playing you know, a lot of the normal Jace cards, Shock Blast assembly line, because we need to level up Jace. We need our six cost spells. Also have a couple Harsh Winds in there. And since like Harsh Winds targets twice, Shock Blast targets twice, uh, playing Ezreal for our other champion, because then we're going to have a good amount of targets. We'll even you know, have like Mystic Shot, Troll Chant, Thermogenic Beam, Aftershock, all that kind of stuff to help level up Ezreal. And Ezreal can just kind of do its thing, just kind of, uh, you know, like Ezreal's like a card that like the opponent has to like use resources to try to kill. Um, especially like Troll Chant to help protect it. That's kind of nice. And so that probably slows the game down. And once the you know, this slows the game down, gives us more time for these things. Have Feel the Rush for, you know, because Feel the Rush is amazing. And then putting in a 10-10 Ezreal is not too bad. So we got one of those at the top end. And then two drops. We got both Avros and Sentry and Pharaoh's Financier. So we have two different two drops that uh, will, you know, be able to get us some good card advantage, great blockers. And so I'm going to go Iterative Improvement as well. Because we'll have Aloof Traveler, so Iterative Improvement Aloof Travelers, that's a combo. Or Financier or Sentry, you know, Improvement's great with those. Or you can Iterative Improvement your opponent's followers, if they play something cool, like a, you know, Screeching Dragon or whatever. And then whenever you target their stuff, that's targeting an enemy, so that helps level up Ezreal. Alright, so let's get to the games. Let's see if we ever get to pull it off. Let's see if we can, um, you know, level up our Jace and go Winter's Breath. Uh, we're going to be just playing on over in normal with it being a meme tier deck. But again, just like the Green Glade Mobilize, I could definitely see this being a very good meme tier deck. So Roa says that after watching Arcane, Echo became one of my favorites. I didn't like him before because he was frustrating to play against in League. But now he's a fave. All right, let's send back the Winter's Breath, and I kind of think we keep all the rest. Like, this seems like a pretty decent Ezreal matchup of, like, getting Mystic Shots. Like, they don't have very much removal. Sent back the Winter's Breath because I don't have one Prismatic. Okay, I'll just pass here again. Probably going assembly line next round, but I guess I guess we could play, you know, Ezreal, get grab a Mystic Shot and Mystic Shot. That would cost five mana, so then I would only have five mana next round. I guess just assembly assembly line. I wish we had the, the mana for Shock Blast next round. I really want them to play like that Xerxes Caller. I wanted them to play it right here, you know, and predict. And then we aloof travelers and make them draw that card that they predict. That's what I want to happen. Hmm. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Ooh, made them get get rid of a pike. Well, that's not so bad. Alright, so they still hit Lurk a little bit. That will go back in the deck somewhere. Just pass, kind of see what's up. Alright, Preservarium. Yeah, basically see if like we want to like Ezreal... 
Um, but I don't think so. All right, we'll take True Shot, which is three targets for Ezreal. Okay, okay. These old eyes still see far and clear. The super big things. Oh, why don't I just attack with both? I'm sorry, I should just attack. Anyway, I was gonna say the super big things, you know, not dying to like these shock blasts and stuff are problematic. I would like to do those trades, please. Ready the torches. So that will level up Jace. And now... Oh no! We're in negation! I will not level up Jace. Because I, I wanted to level up Jace so I could play Jace next round. Oh man. And then you don't know, have the Winter's Breath after that. So 8 mana... Pretty awkward. My assembly line. And then we have two mana left over, plus eight next round, so we have ten. So oh, I'd be one short from Jace plus Winter's Breath. Yeah, that was pretty awkward. Alright, let's play you. So I want to get a body in play right away because of Snapjaw. So we know their top card's a Lurker. Okay, so we can kind of assume that that's the... Is that like the like Pike spell? Like the... Uh, you know, the two-mana one? Put back on top. So this is going to be an 8 Overwhelm. I know you're thinking so I'm thinking about doing like the Troll Chant on that, so then it's not Overwhelm. It'll still kill Ezreal though. So all I'm doing is saving... I guess I'm saving like 4 damage. And then maybe like Shock Blast the two of them. Or I guess I could just Assembly Line. That's probably even better. <sighs> It's kind of bad if they have Rek'Sai doing that. Like for later, you know, like I won't have that for Rek'Sai later, but my thinking is that I have Winter's Breath for Rek'Sai later. And so I'm not too worried about later. Yeah, Bone Skewer, that's the card that I was saying. So it did have the Bone Skewer. Now we know they're just going to be putting that on top of their deck. Oh, but I'm dead! Uh, should have played assembly line. Man, that's that's rough. All right, good GGs, lurkers. I don't think we're losing that at all, but that ride of negation really, really set me back. Okay, assembly line was the play. I kind of want to keep everything. I think I'm gonna keep everything. So my thinking here is assembly line on three. Uh, sentry plus troll chant on four. And kind of go from there. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. I turn it like so. Yeah, the gauntlet is late is entitled uh, Last Chance Gauntlet because that's referring to last chance to get into the seasonal tournament. Seasonal tournament, there's two ways to get into it. You can either be in the top 700 uh, players in Masters rank, or 
you can use the last chance gauntlet um, and 300 and some players qualify through that I think 324 or 328 something like that so anyway those are the, the ways to qualify and so that's why it's entitled that but the gauntlets are only uh, just a weekend thing don't touch it So they are predicting a lot. I'm happy to go next round. They waste three mana. Or four mana. Risky because of Mystic Shot, but we have the backup troll chance, so it's not as risky. There we go. Got them to use two more cards. We got to use get have them get a get excited. And get excited discarding an echo. Ooh, they discarded an echo. Echoes called shots, so two echoes are gone. Very good, very good. Troll chance, saving the day. We made it, yay! But our stuff did it. Ooh, augmented experimenter out of here. Okay, I was gonna see if like maybe we got another champion with that. But we'll take an augmented experimenter, right? I wanted to do that exactly. I wanted to try to get a jinx before they played jinx. Oh, there's a new patch with a spooky Brahm emote and a ruinous basilisk and so just some some Shadow Owls uh, emotes. Um. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Yes, Chrono Break out of here. Okay, yeah, they, okay, awesome, they updated the unstable mana flow, so they'll, you'll only receive unstable mana flow power if you lose the first two battles of the run, and it only grants the bonus for two battles on the next run. They should still just get rid of it, but they got, but that's good, at least, it's better than not having him. And some early battle encounters were reduced in difficulty. So they did reduce the difficulty a little bit. Now it's a party. Fine. This means they can have this block for three. They take five. Down to... Nine. Yes, the new PvE is definitely a good way to get started in the game. Absolutely. You did all the challenges now? Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, I would I would recommend getting yeah going into the Path of Champions to help learn the game. That's probably that's a, a good way, and then because you get a lot of XP for that also, so you can build your collection as well. So yeah, I think that's that's a very good idea. All right, so this puts them down to six, and my Jace will be leveled up. One mana short from Winter's Breath, Jace. One mana short. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure if they have a Chrono Break. It's possible. So it may be better just to Winter's Breath here so that they do have a Chrono Break. They don't really get anything from it. I kind of like that idea. I kind of like this idea. This is my best play against Chrono Break. And then my thinking is next, you know, save this three spell mana next round and we can feel the rush. Get a 10 10 Ezreal. That's Chrono Break if I've ever seen one. Looking like a chrono break. Alright, they're holding on to it. Maybe we just go this route and just play Ezreal, Aftershock, Mystic Shot, like all that at their Nexus instead of playing Feel the Rush. No, maybe we just Feel the Rush. I guess because I'm not going to be able to choose Challenger or Quick Attack, am I? I don't think so. I don't, but it probably doesn't really matter either. All right, we'll do this. This is just, it's risky though, right? Like it's 12 mana, it's risky. Like they could have ride negation. That'd be random, but they could. Oh. All right, I'll answer that here in just a second, WL. WL Jr. Yeah, so it gets neither Quick Attack nor Challenger, because that's that's a playability you have to choose. So yeah, but now we have, like, lots of burn spells. But then we also have a 10-10 Elusive. And we know this card's Chrono Break. And so that other card has to stop a 10-10 Elusive. It could be Quicksand. They drew a Jinx. Yep, it was Chrono Break. Called it. So yeah, I played that perfectly with that Winter's Breath. GG's. Alright, one and one. So yeah, Path of Champions tomorrow. We'll, we'll be doing Jace. I'll be finishing Jace against Victor. And then yeah, I'm going to try to beat Nautilus with Caitlyn. Um, we're going to try those two. Make some YouTube videos there. Okay, you reached Nautilus but not beaten him. I haven't I haven't attempted Nautilus yet. I wanted to record that. But same, I've reached Nautilus but I haven't attempted it. Zillion Echo. That deck's great. I guess we'll send these two back. I can see Tavern Keeper being pretty necessary here, because Zillion Echo is just like a burn deck, basically. Now I gotta save this for a champion, right? Man, assembly line or true shot barrage? I guess assembly line. Oh, should I take a true shot barrage? So plan here is probably like don't spend mana round three. Or I guess no, because we can play. Yeah, we can play another financier round three, and then we have six mana for a shock blast or assembly line. The next round. See what I've learned. Watch your toes. We are a Winter's Breath deck, but we have lots of Winter's Breaths. I, I really like this Hextech Anomaly card that just turns out being random stuff, because then you can never predict what it's going to be. I really like that card. Careful preparations. So now their Echo will be leveled up. See you soon, friendos. If we can 
undo what has been done. We can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Nothing escapes my watch. Monster Harpoon. Time for a true display of skill. And Zillion Echo, you get to play so many cards. <laughs> Zillion Echo, you're... There's so many predicts. The amount of predicts is staggering. All right, there we go. Definitely like aloof travelers. Reckoning? Don't think we're gonna have a five plus power ally. Counterfeit copies on Echo? No? I guess not Echo. What else would he... Time Bomb? No, but the Time Bomb wouldn't be way... No, wouldn't be way over there. Never had luck, never needed. Easy to say with that Z-Drive of yours. Maybe that's so I can play Aloof Travelers. They don't don't just have a chrono break in their hand, right? Because no, they just they just put them in their deck. You think it was another echo? All right, we'll kind of see. It was the first card. It was a Kahiri. And I had them draw into Chrono Break with their Loot Travelers. Are you kidding me? The Chrono Break was the very top card? Wow, that's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Alright, well, one and two. Then Echo takes over. Well, that was a pretty crazy way to lose. Double Loof Traveler is good. All right, we'll just send the Ezreal back. But, I, you know, I love Aloof Aloof, copy Aloof for a Jace Heimer matchup. Let's get to work. That's a good card for my hand. So I don't have Forge tomorrow. <clears throat> Luck, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Oh, I hate those kind of cards that you know, getting those kind of cards out of their out of their hand. Because I want to get these assembly line type cards. That hurt. Adaptatron 3000? That's a waste. Yeah, yeah. That's too cute. Come on, then. You dropped something. I dropped everything! Oh, man. They're very good anti aloof travelers. Astounding curiosity. These production surges. So there's a good chance that they, you know, like they're going to be the uh, mini morph type decks. I don't really want Battle Fury against mini morph. That's them wasting a lot more mana than me. 
I only waste two mana. They were they waste six. Killed here. What seems to be the problem? I'm getting killed. Yeah, Heimer is a heck of a card. about casting the Ezreal's Mystic Shot, yeah. I think that I'd kind of rather just have that than the Ezreal right now. But, you know, we'll just put Ezreal back into the deck. So that's their third Conchologist. Have they... They played the Mystic Shot. I guess I didn't check to see if that was created by Conchologist or not. That's four targets. And that's their third Flash of Brilliance. So they have three created cards of spells that cost three or less, and three created cards of spells that cost six or more. Now, one of those created cards... Okay, one's a Flash of Brilliance. I was going to say, one is definitely... Um, one was definitely that that seven-man spell they played last round. Need a Jace for a winter's breath. They don't know what they're up against. I don't miss. Let's take this outside. Easy does it. Nailed it. Man. It's been like they may have another shock blast in Jace to finish the game out, or just more, you know, even more burn spells. Good draw. Revitalizing Roar is... You know, it's... It could heal my Nexus, <laughs> but... I don't have anything to heal right now. I guess I'll just take this Aurora Porealis. Well, if 
it isn't the man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. Yes, my lord. So I played that to this just a block. But actually, maybe I just want to block with that thing. So I shouldn't have played this Wonder Borum. Come on, Jace. Jealous of their Jace over there. Pretty jealous. Let's see what these other two cards are. Yeah, it's the second time my opponents played that card today. No Jace. Poro snacks that are useless. <laughs> I would like them to play another unit here. really waited on that. They really gave me opportunity to play like Acceleration Gate. I guess they, they wanted to do that. They want me to do that and so they're down to nine. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Assembly line. Replicating the power spike. Gotta hope they can't do three more damage, I guess. That was a good kindly tavern keeper that we drew. That's good on them by attacking. Again, I want them to you know play another unit or play this acceleration gate first, and then I was gonna winner's breath, but they didn't do that. Oh no! One mana short! How? So this will just make them both five power quick attacks. Oh, great draw for them. Oh, now they get a blocker with there. Oh, why did I play that six mana card last round? I should have just passed. Should have just passed. Yeah, they got blocked with both because you gotta be scared of like Mystic Shot and all that kind of stuff. But now, if that thing found, you know, there's tons of damage spells. Iterative improvement? No, I wanted that to copy Kindly Tower and Keeper. Now they just drew a Shock Blast. Oh, yep. Dang, so close. Get the 
and full of winter's breaths that time. We're keeping the two six mana spells. The two mana spells, the two mana cards, not as sure about, but they are good. Where's my mouse? There's my mouse. They are good. I don't know. I'm gonna keep them. They're good on round four and round five and stuff. Take a look at this. Nothing escapes my notice. Wish I had a third kindly tavern keeper in here. Only have the two, and we definitely need another one. But our... You know, our plan was kind of like all those aloof travelers, and they just discarded all thermogenic beams and... Um, and just the other card like that. I guess I probably should be playing Forge of Like, maybe we just shouldn't be playing Sentry and playing Forge of Tomorrow over Sentry or over aloof travelers or something, because... My opponents have been um, having more mana than me. Thanks to that card. Well, you wouldn't want to play double Winter's Breath and Acceleration Gate in the same round. Like, the Acceleration Gate at that point doesn't really matter. You just want to double Winter's Breath. I'm your man. We'll have leveled up Jace if we ever draw Jace. That's, that was also the thing that we didn't do last game. You know, we only drew one Jace out of all the cards that we drew. Our opponent had a couple. We only had the one. So we have more cards in hand. They have more mana. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be going with the Aloof Traveler iterative improvement combo and just playing the Forge of Tomorrows and another Tavern Keeper instead. I feel like doing this. I feel like killing both their 3-3s. So basically, instead of them trading, I'm spending two mana and a card to put two 3-2s into play. Right? Like that That's what I'm doing here with that troll chant is if I don't play it, they just trade. By playing it, I get two 3-2s. You dropped something. I dropped everything! An unyielding spirit. I assume Pharaoh's financier created that unyielding spirit. Alright, so now their Jace is leveled up as well. We don't have no champions. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. I don't know. Loot Traveler is just so good, though. You know, like, these are still, like, really important cards. Like, really impactful cards that we're getting out of their hand, right? Unyielding Spirit, Albos, like those are those are cards that are like really hard to deal with. So we're just getting out of their hand. All right, they waste a lot of mana there. Yeah, they just want to clear up room. Go down to seventeen. Fine. You 
drop something. I dropped everything. Jace. Now a troll chant to protect Jace would be nice. Control the mages. Keep the peace. Jace and the wall. I don't think with three mana they're going to be able to kill Jace, so I think we're good there. And so we have our choice now of Acceleration Gate or Winter's Breath. I kind of think Acceleration Gate, to be honest. I kind of think we just go with that. Replicating the power spike. And replicate the power spike. But we are, you know, we are a Winter's Breath deck, so maybe I should be going with that. But just like seeing like these little one ones over here. Okay, not so, not very good secondary keywords. Kind of want to aloof travelers first. Not gonna lie. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. Okay, we got a remembrance out of their hand. Search that. Because, yeah, I was basically thinking, you know, like, if they have another one of, like, the six mana, like, assembly lines, uh, or champion or something like that, like, maybe we get those out of their hand first. Alright. So that was Brood Awakening. That was just created by the Mage Seeker. They have this other card that's just created by the Mage Seeker. Let's get to work. Okay, so I think I didn't really think I didn't think about it either, but I think I should have the three mana landmark, the Forge of Tomorrow. Another reason is, you know, if I I can double, I can actually hard cast two Winter's Breaths with it, or like hard cast one Winter's Breath, refill my spell mana, hard cast another Winter's Breath. I didn't think about that to be honest. Just kill me. Ugh. Just kill me. Well, that's just Go dumb. Away. Why would I not shoot that? Shoot that thing. Sure. Traveler is pretty good. How many of those have we played? So we've gotten rid of an assembly line, Remembrance, assembly line, Albus Pharos, and Unyielding Spirit. I think I'll take out the Avros and Sentries to fit in that, that forge tomorrow. I think we can do that. I think we can. I don't think we need another two drop. Probably just have the one two drop. I think that fourth aloof travelers has not made them too happy. Just a guess. The two ones block three twos. Three four blocks three two. I take seven. For stuff anyway. Nothing escapes my watch. 
That's a good draw. Let the light guide you. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Okay, now we have True Shot that can do three damage and Shock Blast that can do three damage. They are at five. We march. Look out for Reapers. Three, two, one. That does level up Ezreal. Which we would not play Ezreal right here, of course, because of Final Spark. Wait till, wait till we untap. Just be game. This troll chant is burst speed and targets the opponent's unit, so that does two damage to them. Burst speed. Just do that so they don't get priority again, so they don't, you know, don't have to sit through another countdown. Like my name. All right, this deck did feel pretty good. You know, even though we played in normals, we played against a lot of very good Piltover and Zon decks. And I think our deck was just a tad bit off. I think I want that third Kindly Tyrant Keeper. And where are you at? And then also probably the Forge of Tomorrow. It's probably T, the Forge of Tomorrow, yeah. I think we want those two. Um, maybe we just have to get rid of Iterative Improvement to fit in the Forge of Tomorrow. Um, but we did see Iterative Improvement plus Aloof Travelers is such a good combo against other Jace decks. Um, but against other decks, it's not going to be so good. Um, so maybe maybe that's where we have to go because we probably need to have two two drops for blocking purposes and everything. So yeah, I guess we have to take out iterative improvement for copying aloof travelers. Makes me sad. Makes me sad. And then let's see, we got another tavern keeper in here, and that tavern keeper is probably going to come in over. Maybe that's how. Maybe we take out a sentry there. No, we'll just take out a harsh winds. Didn't really see seem to have harsh winds do too much for us. Okay. So there we go. That's the little change I would make. Just get this Forge of Tomorrow in because that extra mana can be awesome. And I think that in particular that would be awesome with Winter's Breath. Because we saw those games that if we don't have Jace, our Winter's Breath, we're doing nothing. And so we want to be able to cast two Winter's Breaths in the same round because we had that multiple times. And we'd have just two Winter's Breath in our hand. And they weren't really doing anything. Um, so that's what we would do. We'd have Forge of Tomorrow in play. Uh, be able to refill our mana, go Winter's Breath, refill mana, Winter's Breath again. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so that's Winter Jace. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed it. We played some really good games here, a lot of close games against a lot of good decks. So uh, hopefully y'all liked it. But uh, let me know over there. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next video.